Good day, First World Travellers, and welcome back. Okay, you'll have to excuse the noise in the background. There's like a washing machine going, and there's a fan that won't turn off, and things like that. But anyway, I'm back on YouTube. Happy days. So it's been quite a long time. It's been like over a month, two months, I don't know, since I last did a travel video. Anywho, so I did a video a couple months ago, like I said, in Australia, where I said basically I was fed up with travelling, I was bored, I'd lost all motivation, I needed a break. And that's what I did. I went to LA after storm chasing, literally did nothing in LA. I didn't even go up to the Hollywood sign. That's how lazy I was. Then I come back to Bali, which is where I am now. I'm in Kuta. So the purpose of this video is to say hello, welcome back. But also, more importantly, to explain how my channel is going to work and what to expect coming forward and where I'm going and stuff like that. So, schedule. So as before, there's going to be three videos a week. One, two, three. They'll be on Monday, which will be a video like this, which will be basically where I just pick up a camera and talk about something that I want to talk about. So it might be like travel tips, it might be YouTube advice, it might be some ridiculous story, or it might be something I want to complain about, quite simply, because let's face it, it happens a lot. Anywho, Wednesday, the second one, and Saturday will both be travel videos. Now, before I used to do the Wednesday video like a one subject thing. So, for example, it was just about one thing. It might be about Tokyo Mario Kart. It might be about robot restaurant or something like that. Then on Saturday is the big one, the epic video where it's got all the editing and the music and things like that. It might be something like a 10 things to do video, you know. But sometimes it might be that both of those videos will be general travel videos. We'll see what happens. So that's that, that's the schedule, and on, what's next? Oh yes, in terms of what I'm doing, so the time I've had off doing nothing, I've had a chance to think about what I want to do, and there's a multitude of things that I want to do. Whether they will happen is a different matter entirely. So what I'm doing after Bali is going back to Japan, as you may know, because I absolutely love Japan, it's the best, and there are so many more things I want to do in Japan that I didn't do last time. So I'm going back there very soon. After that, I'm gonna go back to South Korea where I'm looking at doing a Workaway. If you don't know what that is, I'll explain quickly. Basically, there's a website called Workaway, obviously, that people can go on, hosts, hostel owners, people running organizations that teach English to children, that sort of thing. They can post on there and get people like me to volunteer with them for a period of time. It might be something like a month, two months, whatever. And Basically, in exchange for you working just a few hours a day, five days a week, you get free accommodation, free food, but most of all, you get an opportunity to immerse yourself in the local culture, meet the locals, that sort of thing. I did volunteer work about two years ago in South Africa. That was very different. That was um, saving the cheaters. Why was that in an Australian accent? Anyway, so I love volunteer work like that, so I'm really looking forward to doing something like that. In terms of the English thing, I did mention English, one thing I'm also looking into in terms of earning some money, <laughs> who thought that would ever happen again, is something called italki. So there's lots of websites and apps like that where people can basically go onto and find people to practice their English with. So for example, as I've been in Asia, one thing I've learned is that people in Asia generally are taught American English or the Queen's English, which I don't talk with. So I talk with a London accent. And literally, the amount of times I've been somewhere and people haven't got a clue what I'm saying, so I'm saying things like, but I will uh, see you later, I ain't got a clue what I'm saying. So that is one thing I'm interested in doing, because I've always been interested in languages. I did German when I was at school. So teaching English as a native speaker is something I'm interested in doing. So we'll see what happens. What's next? Then I'm going to China. So, well, at least that's the plan. So I was going to do this ages and ages ago, but then I realised I need to get a visa. It's really expensive and bleh. However, you can get a free tourist visa if you're in transit for a particular amount of time, depending on which city you go into. It's very complicated. So I'm looking at doing that. Then I will look at coming back to Europe, finally, through Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan. That might sound bizarre. However, Kyrgyzstan is often thought of as the Switzerland of Asia. It's amazing scenery. And additionally, you don't need a visa to get into both of those countries. What's happening with my clothes? So that is a potential thing I'm going to do. Then I'll head back through Europe via the Ukraine. I really want to go to Pripyat, which is the ghost city next to Chernobyl, things like that. And then I'll end, eventually end up in London where I will either temporarily or permanently stay. Who knows? We'll see what happens. So, and just lastly, in terms of my videos, so another thing doing nothing has allowed me to do is spend a bit of time thinking about what I do in my videos. And it got very samey and I got... You know, it was just too much stuff. There was too much transitions, too many filters, all that malarkey. And in terms of things that I was filming as well, I've, that needed to change as well. So 
I've had some time to think about those things. So in my videos this week coming, you will start to see new things that I'm doing in my videos from the ways I, way I film videos and also editing techniques. So I um, hope you like them. And that's about it. So um, yeah, make sure you put your notification bell thingy on your YouTube so you get a notification when I upload these videos. Five minutes, 22 seconds, that'll do. And I will catch you later. My heart is falling too I'm in love with your body Last night you were